Welcome to this short video. This is uh, eating for insulin sensitivity or testing meals. So now we went through pretty much everything that is going to accelerate your shape uh, creation and weight loss. Yet I know that for some of you, and, and, and again, uh, not, for, not for many, but for some of you, it's important also to, at this point, not only see blood sugar balancing overhaul a span of a, you know, a few months from now, but it's also psychologically important to see this blood balance when you read your numbers, when you take your numbers uh, and, and your data almost daily, right? Um, even though I don't think, I don't feel like that should be some, the, the priority. But, uh, you know, studies are conclusive that if you eat a mixed meal that, that include uh, some carb, some high protein and some vegetable um, and some small little healthy fats as well, uh, which you basically see the picture here, it's concurrent that you will create a bad, better blood balance on a short term. In other words, after two hours you're eating, you will see better numbers than if you just eat uh, lower in carb or very high in carb, okay? And, and again, because of the lower in carb uh, keto style will, at some, uh, for most people, uh, create a response uh, of, uh, you know, hormonal response, which has to do with the cortisol interaction, not, ma not much on the, on the carbohydrates. If you obviously eat a lot of carbs, it will be a spike, a natural spike from carbohydrates, right? So what you need to do here at this point, I, I want you to test to, um, to, 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 to test some meals, right? Like you just basically follow this format here. You test some meals, you can post in a group uh, as we did when we were running a challenge. If you see this post in my, this video, you might remember that you were in the challenge if we did it. Uh, you would watch this video, it's gonna explain you exactly what to do. And then after one hour and a half, you will test your blood sugar once a day. Uh, I, I know I wouldn't do it for one, maximum two days, just to have a sense. Or once in a while you do it. And then you would click here and you would find this specific track sheet. This is just a bonus thing that I put in. Uh, it would basically be something that is almost like a, like a scheduling that you test and you say, okay, today I, I, I hate, for example, you know, um, let's say mashed potato and fish and some veggie, right? And then, like, you would probably put here only the functional, functional meal. Like, if you, let's say you test something like you just had a specific high-carb meal and it doesn't, it doesn't go within your ranges, I wouldn't put in this track sheet. I would just put in this track sheet what is then, um, you know, to be successful, like foods that you feel like are productive, right? And you put the date. And then you will basically eat 80% of your meals. You eat it this way, right? You can even track if you want the day after uh, the meat, the weight. You, you can track eating more carbs, what it does to your weight, right? Uh, this you would go back to the to to the first phase and and, and really understand that we we take weight not to be uh, pedantic or not to be obsessive, but it's more about tr tracking data. And then like if you wait one week, the whole week, and then you just do the average, you would figure out your weight. Uh, but more than that, you would just really start tracking things, your your food behaviors, your functional food, because you're gonna keep this on a side and you're gonna use this this these meals when it's necessary. This is very important because like most people, like you will see that even if you eat the same thing, for example, like one day would give you a reading and the other day maybe will give you a slightly better reading or worse reading based on the on the stress level, on the hormonal interaction, based on how you sleep. If, you, if you're a woman, you have your period and stuff. So, I mean, there would be some sort of differences, right? So it is important for you to really start tracking stuff. Here is gonna give you like in your weight as well that you can track, like you, your improvement. Here you can track and you can make, a, like it's gonna make a graph. So this is an additional resource that you want to be doing uh, using here. And this short video was gonna explain you exactly uh, what to do. So with this being said, just get to work, just use this as an additional thing. Uh, if you're doing already better, if you already got your diabetes on remission, if you lost a bunch of weight and you got a better body composition, you don't need to do that. This is just a functional exercise that you can remember because most people I found that, you know, they start eating in a certain way and they get some results and then they're like, oh, they just, and I said, why don't you use the, the food that you, that you just know that is going to work? They keep trying new things, right? And this is kind of like getting, obviously, against what people need to do. Okay, this is Jerry here. I'm going to see you in the next video.